Hey there, Tour Striker Nation. Mark Williamson, the Golf Yogi, bringing you some at-home uses for the Tour Striker Power Impact Pro. So there's a lot of ways that we can use this, everything from stretching to working on rotational stuff. But one of the ways that I like to use it is to find speed. So when we're trying to increase club head speed, we're not trying to swing harder, we're trying to swing faster. And a great way to do that is to get the body moving fast. If you don't train fast, it's gonna be a lot harder just to speed up your swing a little bit. So a couple of things that are really, really good with this Power Impact Pro. You can take it, put it, I'm gonna put it in the center of these double doors, but you can obviously take it straight over on the edge of the door as well. I'm just gonna close this up here. And then once we get this in, make sure it's nice and tight, not gonna come flying back and hit you. I like to get in front of this and take a grip, same as you would with a golf club, and we're just gonna start moving right to left. Now you can feel like you're starting to speed this up, but when you're doing this, and I'll show you this in front of me here, we're not trying to swing the arms and bend the elbows as fast as we can. We're actually keeping this in front of us, working this big rotation all the way through the back, all the way through the shoulder. So we get a little bit of tension through that cord, start to work it right and left. Okay, this is gonna basically start to give us a little bit more torque. Increasing that torque through our spine, through our core, all the way through our trunk, gonna help us to get a little bit more speed going through those arms and into that golf swing as well. You can mess with this, guys. I'd tell you to start off with maybe 30 seconds, just going fast, all the way, side to side, side to side, as fast as you can. Work yourself up to a minute, maybe two minutes. I guarantee you, do that for 30 seconds to a minute. You're gonna start to be out of breath, gonna be sweating pretty good as well. And then once we've done that, I really, really like this. I actually saw Martin do this when he was first showing this to me. You can take this carabiner, clip it right into this, this metal circle right at the end of this, uh, on the end of the Power Impact Pro. And now you've basically created a little bit of a whip. So when we make swings with this, you can see if we go nice and slow and we're not very fluid with it, this thing flops all the way around. If you start to put some speed into this, you can start to get a lot of really good movement and it'll show you if you're starting to speed it up just a little bit there. So one thing with this, if you're going through, you're not totally finishing the swing. You kind of saw it off here. You can see this band is going to whip around, give you a little love tap on the back, maybe a little harder than a love tap on the back. So make sure you're finishing this. When we're getting all the way around, we're trying to create that speed right through that hitting zone. And this will stretch out a little bit as you swing it. So you can see this isn't hardly touching the ground here. As I swing it, you can hear it touching the ground all the way around. And one thing when we're working speed, we always balance it out. So if you're a righty, make those right-handed swings, then turn it around, might feel a little goofy. Try to make those left-handed swings as well. Just trying to balance out the body here a little bit. So Power Impact Pro guys, great, great way that you can work a little bit on your golf fitness, a little stretching, a little rotation work at home, and also some great speed work for the golf swing as well.